How would you like making your grocery list to be this easy? And the cool thing about this is that there's more than 70 recipes that are built in to this that you can choose from. And you can see these, you know, you got chicken pot pie, chicken piccata, um, chili, donuts, enchiladas, gumbo, lasagna rolls. You know, you've got Roman style chicken, roast chicken. You've got so many, so many, uh, items, recipes to choose from that are built in already. And um, it's it's really, really simple. You, you know, you uh, select whatever it is that you want to eat for that, uh, that week, for each day of the week there. And the grocery list is going to update to show you what items need to be purchased for, for those meals. And um, the number of servings can just be updated here say you're gonna have you know some people some guests over on on this day and you know and say someone's gonna be out of town this day so you're gonna have you're gonna be serving three people here um so you can update these to 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 the number of people that are gonna be eating that day um then if you want to update a a recipe one of the built-in ones these are open so um, even the number of people that it's applicable to um, you, you can update anything in here um, if if you want to use you know eight teaspoons of vegetable oil instead of nine if you want to use uh, two chicken breasts instead of one and a half you know, if you want to use eight cloves of garlic instead of nine, whatever you can, you can tweak and change any of these. You can add an ingredient if you want. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, um, and and by the way, to to add an ingredient, you just click on on this, and you've got oh, almost three hundred ninety uh, ingredients that are built in already. So, um, and you can, you can see these here, um, celery and coriander and crab meat and couscous and dates and dill and garlic and ginger and hot sauce and all kinds of things that are already built in that you can choose from to build your recipes. So all of these items, these are already all built in, and, and these are the things that you choose from. So say that you um, were to add, uh, you know, baking soda, right here. You'll notice that the units automatically pop up. Those are going to be built in so that the units are consistent w throughout all the recipes, so that your grocery list is only based on one unit. Um, you know, because if you had bacon soda in teaspoons here and bacon soda in cups in another recipe, um, it, it, it just, you want one consistent unit at, on your grocery list that you can then uh, have an idea of how much of that, how much of that ingredient you need. So then you, you would add however many teaspoons it is that you need of, of that thing here, and then you'd go to the next ingredient and, and so on and so forth and, and do the same thing there. Um, I'm going to delete these so I don't change my recipes there. But uh, so that's, that's that. Um, then to if you wanted to add another recipe, uh, you know, just call it the, the ABC uh, recipe. Um, and, and you would fill out everything, you know, say that it's going to serve six people and um, then you've got a unique ingredient. 
say that you're you want to add an ingredient and you want to call it uh, it doesn't have to be, happen to be on the list but it's called BBB I'm just making this up obviously and uh, you want to add that as an ingredient and for your unit of measure you want to call it uh, hops or hop and uh, I, I'm just making that up too um, but uh, you you add this here and you won't be able to change any of the ingredients above this point right here um, those are those are pretty locked in there um, but then you can once that's added in and it, it may take it a little while for the program to load it in um, but uh, it, it may take it a few seconds but but it will load it in and then you'll notice that that ingredient will, will then show up here from this drop down list you add that in and you'll notice that the units that you put in there will show up right here automatically and you can't click on that you can't change that that's just going to be the same there and let's say you've got two hops and that serves six people okay as you can see these have hyperlinks in them so you can click on the recipe hyperlinks and it will bring you to the web page where you got these recipes with the directions and, and everything to follow whenever you're ready um, if you add in a new recipe you can also just add in the hyperlink for that you just uh, hit on a command key uh, sorry command K for a Mac or control K for Windows and it'll bring it up you can add in your hyperlink there and let's say that you want to then have that recipe um, you want to serve that on Thursday say and um, so that's our ABC recipe and you'll notice that BBB then pops up over here and with the two hops right but then say that instead of six people actually you know what you're gonna have three people there and you'll notice that this is gonna then drop down to one hop so it'll take all that into account so then what you want to do is just hit print list and it'll print out all of these ingredients for you all right hope you enjoyed that video if you want to purchase this spreadsheet please see the the link in the comments.